A surfer is reported drowning off rocks. Well, there's a report about a surfer, there's a board tombstone with a body attached. Someone from the public made the report and the police rang Whippity in the tower and notified him of what was going on and they launched a jet ski. Yeah, Danny's out there on the jet ski and the, the pole air's out there as well and the police boat is now approaching also. Information is sketchy, but the fact the surface board was reported tombstoning is cause for major concern. Tombstone's a word used to describe um, when you see a board in the water in a vertical position. If somebody's unconscious, the weight of the body will pull on the leash, which will pull on the board and it'll, and it'll cause the board to sort of move around in a vertical position. And it's usually not a good sign. If the surfer is underwater, seconds could make the difference between death and survival. Yeah, Chapa, is there any more updates from the police? The update that I've got is that um, the board was seen last, tombstoning between the bull and the boot. Uh, she said where she saw it from North South, it was out in the headwind. So it's, like it's, it's, this, it's this side of the point. It's this side where the boat is. Um, Danny, you maybe just take a run between that area, close-ish to the rocks to see if he's gone close to the rocks up there. Despite an intense search, there is no sign of the surfer or his board. Then, an urgent call to the tower. A dark shape has been reported floating off nearby cliffs. Is it the surfer who was reported drowning earlier? While the jet ski is being launched at Bondi, Troy swims out alone from nearby Bronte Beach. Just 20, he has never encountered a dead body before. but it's not what he expected. Before the jet ski's even launched, a report comes through. Okay, the boys have stopped the, stopped the search. It's, it's not a body. Uh, this is a front side. Sorry. Matthew, tree truck or something. Hang on. Okay. It's Actually, a submerged log, not a body. Same side from, from Toby. He was up on the cliff. Sorry, just... Do you need to cancel the AMBO, Brad? Yeah, sorry, cancel that. It's... Thank you. Bye. The camera right. the Amber I was on, on the phone with has been cancelled. With a surf this big, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what it is until you get out there. False alarm. Another false alarm. Today, it seems to be a day of false alarms. Yeah, it was pretty scary. Like, everyone on the beach was yelling out, yeah, body and stuff like that. Semi was looking like we just sussed him out a bit. Just, didn't really know what it was. Touched it and yeah, found out it was a log, so it's probably the same size as like a person like around about six foot, that's why everyone was thinking it was probably a body. Yeah, I'm pretty glad it's a log. I wouldn't have liked to swim back in with, with a body, it would have been pretty pretty bad. Yeah. No one has been officially reported missing. But what happened to the struggling surfer? It is in your head and it probably will be for the next you know, a couple of days, which is what it normally takes for a body to float up if if there's one that's uh, submerged. But I mean, it, everyone knows that it's a possibility that there's someone or, you know, someone out there. Then a man comes to the tower with information. Jono, yeah. what's up? Local surfer Jono was jumping off the rocks yeah, earlier so that it, morning. Um, I was surfing down here and I decided not to paddle off the beach. So I walked around the headland behind the icebergs and um, was going to jump off the rocks. And as I was about to jump off the rocks, a big wave hit me and swept me across the, the ledge. A lady did report that there was someone off the uh, point. So I was by myself, so they probably would have thought, oh, what's this? You know, there's a random surfer just on the rocks being washed around. Jono was almost certainly the surfer reported in trouble and with no one officially reported missing, the case is closed.